Call the member for Maitland. Thank you, Mr uh, Temporary Speaker, and uh, I'm proud to rise in support of Vivid. Vivid is a proud achievement of New South Wales Labor. In fact, it was introduced under the former Premier Nathan Rees, and I note the laughter and acknowledge the interjection of the member for Dremoyne because his side of the House actually railed against Vivid when it was first introduced. They didn't support it. They didn't have the Tell vision, and much like, much like most of the visionary things that have been done in New South Wales in the past, this government has had to uh, be persuaded and Tell cajoled and, le and led to Who actually doing Who really positive you? things. Now, it's interesting, Mr Speaker, because tomorrow, time, Mr Speaker, <laughs> Mr Speaker, my, um, I, it's interesting to note my husband, who is actually works in a tour operation company, I no longer own one, but he is coming down here tomorrow, tomorrow to bring regional people to this city from New South Wales to experience the beauty and joy of Vivid in this city. It is definitely a time when Sydney shines at its brightest and when we have um, the, the whole um, city lit up. Uh, and that is a really great thing for regional tourists to come from other parts of the state to enjoy uh, part of Sydney, which, where, where it is a beautiful place to be at that time. <laughs> Mr Speaker, it would be really great if the members of the side could stop interjecting, because I do actually want to say some serious things about this uh, motion because unlike those opposite, I see Vivid as an important economic contributor contributor to the state of New South Wales and to our tourism industry in total. But I also want to speak, Mr Speaker, about uh, the, the real issues that uh, are happening in tourism in New South Wales across the state. And while it's great to acknowledge the, uh, the contribution of Vivid to Sydney's tourism and then to some of the domestic operators that do bring people to Sydney to experience Vivid and how that then provides uh, ongoing uh, expansion of the tourism dollar out into other areas. We do need to be aware, Mr Speaker, that Destination New South Wales for some time now has been focused on a very centric um, focus on, New on Sydney as part of the New South Wales tourism offering and has not extended the same uh, support for those in our tourism regions. And I'd just like to mention, you know, some of the jewels of regional New South Wales. Of course, we have uh, the Hunter, where I'm from, but we also have the Blue Mountains, we have the Central Coast and the Mid-North Coast, Port Stephens. And also we had the outback of this state, the big sky country. And Interestingly, I was out in uh, Broken Hill last weekend with uh, some members of the uh, National Party. They were at some uh, little meeting, but I was actually there talking to uh, local people, local tourism operators like Scott Smith, who runs a very successful tri-state safaris. In fact, in my former life as a tourism operator, he used to beat me to the post on the New South Wales Tourism Awards, his company. Yes, it is true that Dremoyne, member for Dremoyne, we did not always come first in tourism. But Scott Smith, who has since taken over um, Tri-State Safaris, um, which is a Broken Hill um, icon, it's been an international tourism uh, destination and it's been a great product for our state and indeed for Australia. And he told me that he was at the Australian Tourism Exchange last uh, week when a lot of the operators there said, where is Broken Hill on all of our international tourism literature? You used to be, uh, you know, four or five years ago, in all of the international offerings, but uh, it seems to be that the tourism uh, offering of New South Wales seems only be focusing on Sydney. And, uh, you know, there's this whole philosophy in tourism that we bring people to Sydney and they'll disperse from there out through the state. And as uh, a former owner of a tourism company which took tours to more cities in, and towns and villages in New South Wales and national parks than any other company, I have to say that uh, you don't just arrive in Sydney and think you might pop out to Broken Hill for a couple of hours, much as those uh, on that side of the house who don't just seem to go outside Greater Chatswood area um, of Sydney don't realise that uh, there is a big world out there. There is a big blue sky country in New South Wales in tourism, and it is something. It is something that they should be supporting and helping. 
So I just urge those uh, members of the National Party who were in Broken Hill last week, who did understand perhaps the beauty of that regional um, capital, to think about how they would support that. And speaking to Scott Smith, he's got a very interesting idea, Mr Temporary Speaker, and I'd like to uh, share that with the House, and that is around uh, having a vivid for Broken Hill so that uh, we would be able to see not just the, the uh, city landscape, the metropolitan, the beautiful buildings of Sydney lit up in all the sorts of colours, but to take the natural colours of an area like Broken Hill, to have um, the, the desert landscape colours, those amazing blue skies, the red earth and the green grasses, and have those highlighted during the night with some amazing light works to draw tourism into our regional areas. Because the most important thing about tourism coming to Sydney is when we can harness it properly. There's not been enough funding uh, for destinations outside of Sydney, and there's been a total ignoring of the regional benefits of tourism by this government, and the tourism operators across the state are suffering due to that. So while Labor celebrates, absolutely celebrates, and congratulates all those who are involved in Vivid, who really support this groundbreaking New South Wales Labor Festival, it was a started festival, um, that we supported against, against the protestations of those opposite. We totally support Vivid. We ask that this government actually put their, put their funds into regional destinations because putting dollars in regional tourism, the multiplier effect is astronomical. It creates jobs in regional towns, which is something that no one on that side of the house actually cares about. They just pay lip service and they should be addressing that immediately. Thank you, Mr. Temporary Speaker.